my stone tool collection is around 500, maybe 600 pieces. This is a good example. Um, I have found more yellow ones. Ones that have been painted with yellow ochre. Then I have red. And again, if I went through all of them, uh, they'd be about the same percentage as this. This is a piece of solid red ochre that had been painted yellow. This is a bit like a crayon. Scratch it off, scratch it on a piece of stone and it leaves a red line. This is also a tool that was yellow used for crushing red and orange. Green, yellow, red. Not all, but most heart stones are split in half. This example of heart stones that become cutting tools. These are abrasion tools.
This one is used for crushing up red ochre. This one is used for crushing yellow ochre. These are all abrasion tools. Made from the heart stone. This may have been a drill at one time. This is half of a heart stone. That goes in my trade good pile. We'll get back to that. When I was discharged in 69, uh, I was a corpsman, Air Force. I went to move to Tulsa in... I made this, it's a doorstop for a barn door, a settling torch and a carbon arc. That's me. I marked this hammer um, over 50 years ago. I marked it and painted it red. It should last another 100 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 500 years if it's taken care of. There's nothing special about my markings. Everyone in the shop marked their tools. This was made from the armor of a tank. One more time to uh, identify where the tool came from, search for the base. These bases are split in half often. They create cutting tools. This tool was just used for cutting. Not sure what that residue is, but it was meant to be cutting. And this one always was meant for abrasion. There or along here. Cutting and abrasion. Many of the tools in my collection have been marked 
thousands of years ago. Um, the most common mark is the eye. Smaller tools will have just a small area pecked out. Some tools will have a raised area and pecked around that. Sometimes this raised area will have four lines. Sometimes this raised area will have radiating lines. Many times they will have both. These triangle lines, uh, in these tools I have found they designate the end of the tool, uh, the working end of the tool. If it's a horse that is being shown, the eye will be at the back, looking down its snout. A viper will have an eye looking to the front of a little viper self. The top two didn't seem to need any extra decoration. That's a fossil. This is a horse.
a horse. <laughs>